what's up guys let's start with the application of the seven step we've seen before and into a cumin decomposition what's cumin probably you don't know it but it's this little molecule here which is essentially something like this you have this and you have one carbon here and you have C here here okay so the first thing I want to note you guy or mark you is that this is not diffusion limited so that means that step one, step two, step six, and step seven are very fast and you don't need to analyze that. So therefore, this is more into either the adsorption, the sorption, or into the reaction per se. We're going to be producing benzene, which is here, and propylene, which is this guy right here. We're going to use a catalyst, actually say a platinum bed, and we're going to apply the Langmuir mechanism. Why Langmuir? because this is the case for this reaction. Even though you could use all the models I've shown you before and this will be the one that fit the experimental data. So I think we're done, let's do it. Let me show you this diagram, you have Kumen. we'll go to the active site, we'll bind, then it's going to be adsorbed and then we're going to have the surface reaction this one stays here, this bond is being break, and then it's this one guy is free to go. And eventually the sorption is going to happen for the benzene. Benzene is going to be free. Perfect. We should know that each step is going to be treated as elementary reaction. You should know that by now. Since it is gas phase, we will use partial pressures in general. And remember, you can always relate partial pressure with concentration with the ideal gas law, which is essentially pressure, concentration, remember is number of moles per volume, so that's why PV equals NRT, if you pass this volume here, you got this N, what volume, this is molar concentration, moles per volume, actually smolarity if you want to call it, and yeah, let's do it. First thing first, you have the cumin plus the active site, you have one, uh, rate of reaction to the left and one right reaction of to, to the no to left to right and right to left negative one of course uh, this is step number three this is step number four and this is step number five we are going to analyze these because these are the limiting ones as you can see here since it is not diffusion limited then it must be absorption desorption or the reaction per se, the limit of the process or the rate of reaction. So let's analyze each one of them. Adsorption of Kumen on the surface, that's the easy one. You have Kumen, you have the active site, which will be, let's say, that here. Then comes Kumen, goes here. And you bind them. And they call this, okay? Then we're going to use this active site to produce B, which is essentially B. B will be actually two stuff, which will be the product plus the binding site. This binding site will be the benzene, and this product will be the propylene. And then we're going to free benzene. This benzene will go out. Benzene is going to go out. And of course, propylene is already flying everywhere. We leave the binding site alone, and you will start together. You will start with command, keep doing this and then this, and then this, and you continue with the cycle. Okay, we got the cumin, here's the active site, it's going to be absorbed, we have this, I've told you before, and hopefully you know that from left to right is partial pressure, and from right to left is concentration. So be sure to keep that in mind, this is because this is the free uh, how, how can I explain you? We need to account for the free area or free binding sites, and we need to account here for the concentration of those binding sites. This is a function of the binding sites, and this is a function of the concentration of cumin in the gaseous phase. So essentially, you will get this equation right here. Just keep in mind that's the equation. Remember, we are in step number three, which is essentially. You start here, you go to the active site, and in the active site you're going to absorb, be absorbed, okay? 
now let's analyze the surface reaction. The red law for the surface reaction step producing absorbed benzene and propylene okay, mate, is going to be in gas phase. You need to use the surface criterion equilibrium and it's very important that propylene is never absorbed on the surface. So we have this binding site here comes the benzene or cumin, but this guy here was never absorbed. Actually, what this probably do is to break this, this one goes free as gas, that's why we are using partial pressure, and this one stays here as concentration of benzene in the active site. So very important, of course, concentration of propylene will be zero because we have no concentration in the surface. So once again, let me show you. We have the cumin here, and what we're going to have essentially is the benzene is going to stay, the propylene is going to go out. So this was never in the surface area, therefore the concentration of propylene is equal to zero. And then we are left with this one here. This is the reaction that will represent this action here. And just let you know guys that here and here we could use this one here. And the concentration of course of the propylene in the active sites is zero. Just to keep you I give you a hint, okay? So let's use KS here and substitute we have concentration of the active sites of the cumin minus the partial pressure of the propylene which is already flying everywhere and the benzene in this site. So just keep that in mind. This one is very important. We are in step four, the surface reaction. And eventually it's time for the desorption of benzene. We know cumin turned out to be benzene and propylene, which is already flying. We're going to break that binding or that uh, relationship between benzene and the active site, which is platinum. We're going to be using the sorption, which is essentially this here. Rate of reaction going forward, rate of reaction going backwards. Okay, just substitute, use, you know, KD of equilibrium is here. This one is for products, this one is for the red reactants, and you got this one here. Visualate, we are done. We analyze step three, step four, and step five, which are the kinetic or absorption dependent uh, steps. Now, what would you actually do? Because I know it's very fancy to have these equations, but actually you have these equations and you do not analyze the numbers behind that or you don't know what's actually each of them for example this is pretty much product this is pretty much reactant you're not going to get the best of the problem probably we're going to be asked what is the limiting uh, rate of reaction step so either you will need to choose one two and three analyze them actually input data and get or maybe graph or maybe even uh, make suppositions. For example, you can say that the partial pressure of C is extremely low, so you can say it's almost zero. So you can take out this and you can make one constant here and you will have a rate of absorption of, or which only depends on the amount of cumin being in that active site, which is awesome because you probably get better ideas on this one. Now the very important one will be the surface rate of reaction. You will be able probably to say that, mm, let me analyze, mm, the partial pressure of P were to be too low, you could say this is almost zero, and you get once again a very similar to this, and so on. You can say there are many cases, I'm not going to show you, but you should by now know that, for example, if I have a very low concentration of benzene on the active sites I could take away this and this will be negative or I could make a constant here new constant and since the concentration of uh, let's say empty spaces is relatively constant we could say this is also a constant partial pressure which is similar to this one of them of course we're using 
Kp here and we are using Kc of concentration, this one is of pressure and eventually you can get to know which one of the three steps is the most limiting one which of course will be the one with the lowest value of the rate of reaction and that's everything, I think this is the last video for the uh, chapter number 10 which was catalysis I'm very happy you ended up in this video What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever Also, sharing is caring So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content if you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.